Lopez Live, your boy one. First episode, I'm about to conduct the interview for the man who's usually behind the camera, but now he's not. Hey, world, meet Mikaez Lopez. Let's go, people. What's good? All right. So I have a few questions for you, just to let them know, just to let the world in on a little bit about what you're about and what kind of person you are. So, I'm going to ask you questions. Haley, explain to the world what you're about right now and what you feel is right right now. Well, I'm 18 years old. I'm going on 19 years old. I started rapping when I was about 11, 12 years old. Nothing serious. You know, the little rage cage, stage, sage, all that kind of bullshit. Uh... I grew up in Williamsburg, Graham Avenue, Avenue of Puerto Rico. And uh, while living there, I underwent, uh, underwent, some si- uh, underwent certain situations where I wasn't necessarily in the best position. So I pretty much would get caught the wrong time, the wrong people. And after that, it started turning out that I was the wrong people. I moved to East New York in 2004, and with that, my moods changed, the music changed, I became, I evolved, I became more literate, what I was speaking, more deep, uh, the way I hear music now is definitely not the way I used to hear it eight, nine years ago, when I was little, you know, everybody was still bumping shit like, you know, it's the shit by Tupac changes until the end of time. Juicy. Juicy's still bummed out to now, you know? But it's it's not the same as before. Like, you know, when you're that young, you don't have that you don't have that understanding of music. But as you get older, you start appreciating more things. Like there's nothing there's nothing like there's nothing like essence within music. And that's what I believe that's what I believe I have. That's what I believe I bring to the table. I'm somebody who digs deep. And through my emotion, I can make you feel or I can make you relate to what I'm going through. You can't feel like I feel. Of course not. But you can understand how I feel by seeing, by hearing what I'm telling you. Deep. I'm digging that. <laughs> Real talk. Alright, another question. Who inspires you to get into the game itself? Like, who you who inspired you back then to get into it? And who, as of right now, is inspiring you to keep on in this game? First and foremost, uh, my grandmother. My grandmother has raised me because uh, due to certain circumstances, my mother couldn't do it. So my mom, my mom bounced early in my life. Never knew my pops. So my grandmother picked up the weight. She's getting older now, and I start realizing that you know, I gotta start, I start pushing myself into fifth gear, making sure that she can get what she needs and. You know, I live in a project right now. I don't want my grandmother to die in the projects. She's first and foremost. Musical influences, gotta be Big Pun. Gotta be Biggie, Tupac. Uh, most recently, Joel Ortiz, Joe Budden, guys like that. Guys who, who, who bring the essence of what's been happening to them, but can still get you to relate to them with the power of what they're speaking. Uh, any other? Nas, Jay-Z. People who can capture people. I think of everything as an influence. Alright, true story. I uh, couldn't uh, agree more. Last question, just to let everybody know, you know, got a little, little taste, a little flavor. What are your main goals? Like, everybody got goals. You know, young rappers nowadays, they can't expect to be hitting number one and get exposed like that. You gotta work your way step by step. You gotta get up there. So, what do you feel like your goals that you can't accomplish or something you've accomplished that'll push you more to get to where you want to be at? Show people reality when they don't want to see it. You know, I think what makes you a powerful artist is the ability to be a rebel, to go against the stereotype. Now, a lot of people who, who understand hip-hop or understand any genre of music of their choice to that extent will tell you the power of an artist and the influence of artists is solely reflected on their ability to capture you with what they're speaking. 
Now, obviously, if you can relate to me, you're going to like the song that I do. Right? You know what I mean? You're going to like the song that I do because you understand. You, you, can, you can relate to it. Now, a lot of people nowadays get, get mixed up in, 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 in this attitude that swag is a gift. It's not a gift. A lot of people have to earn that shit. A lot of people are not born with swag. See, that's what I think is wrong with the world nowadays. Everybody has an ego when they shit. It's all right to have your little conceitedness. It's all right to know that you're the shit sometimes. Because you act like you're the shit in front of the wrong people. You're done. Get me? You understand? So what I do is I show the world different divisions of reality. Instead of living in this fantasy world that I don't live in, I'll give you the fantasies of my reality. It might take a while to get that one. But, uh, that's what I can say. In order for me to further elaborate that, just speak the music out. And that'll be the answer for you. And that People World Episode 1 comes to the conclusion. Lopez Live. Fifth Gear, baby. Fifth Gear. Kes Lopez. Your boy, one. Unos.